Hello everybody, this is uh, Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com Out here in the beautiful nature once again with you all. And I want to discuss what it means to be weird and what is true strength. Because a lot of people who forge their own path, who make their own way, who follow their passions, can be perceived by others who are more conformist and who follow the rules and color within the lines as weird and non-conformist, misfits and rebels and outcasts. And this is more of a reflection of that person's fear of change, fear of pursuing the unknown, fear of the pursuit of knowledge. Change is painful. Change is difficult. It is only the truly courageous and intrepid that can look to the dark, uncertain future with brave eyes and say, I will proceed ever more boldly, nevertheless. This is true strength. The desire to expose oneself to vulnerability, to weakness, to risk. This is how progress is made. It is not by following the rules. It is not by accepting the limitations imposed by the society in which one lives. No, great advances have only been achieved by those who are willing to risk everything, who are willing to do the work, who are willing to sacrifice comfort. And it is to benefit to the benefit of us all. Ironically, there's a great quote which says, every generation reveres its dead troublemakers and condemns its live ones. We only appreciate the work that the brave have done oftentimes after they are past, after they expire. And this is the supreme tragedy, that it is those people that are willing to risk so much for so little recognition. And yet they are considered in their own time by their contemporaries to be misfits and outcasts. And they are cast away from society and condemned. <clears throat> This is the supreme irony. It is those people that we remember, those people that struck fear into the conformists for not obeying the rules, for not complying to the established norms. They are the 
round pegs in a square hole that do not seem to belong anywhere. And some people say these people are ahead of their time. I don't think so. I think these people are with the time and it is everyone else that is behind the time. So the next time someone calls you weird or strange for thinking differently, for considering solutions that are outside the accepted two by four card of op acceptable opinion, you can say, I'm the one that's with the times. <laughs> Where are you living? <laughs> the computer revolution was not created by people with computer degrees. It is those pioneers in the field that have broken through new grounds and have paved the way for magnificent wealth that has been created for the future, for future generations. And they receive no thanks in their time. <clears throat> this is a supreme tragedy. So don't be ashamed of your weirdness. Celebrate it. For you might be the bringer of something truly magnificent to the human race. You might be creating wealth and abundance for future generations. And if that comes at a risk of your contemporary relationships, that is a worthy trade. True strength is not about brute force. It's not about anything physical. True strength is recognizing your own principles and living by them, even though those around you in your society do not, or appeal to an authority for their morality. Morality is not a numbers game. It doesn't matter how many people commit theft, assault, rape, and murder. It doesn't change that depending on how many people do it. If there is one person that stands up and says, this is wrong, then it is so. In the same way that math, mathematics is not a numbers game. Morality is not a numbers game. Live by your principles. Do not worry about the opinion of those around you. The host does not concern itself with the opinion of the parasite. In the same way that the autodidact, the self-motivated, the passionate, do not concern themselves with the opinions of the obedient conformists. Follow your passion forge new paths. It is to the benefit of us all. Thank you very much for listening. This is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Enjoy nature.